orangutans. Rocky, an orangutan who lives at Indianapolis Zoo, was even the subject of language research done in 2012 by Durham University. The research included a game that involved copying the different tones and pitches the researcher made. Rocky began to learn new vocal sounds and even match the pitch of the person speaking. If someone spoke in a low voice, Rocky would respond in a low voice. One of Rocky's most well-known sounds is what scientists call wookies, because they sound like Chewbacca from Star Wars. None of the other orangutans make this noise, only Rocky. Naturally, he loves to use it to get attention from humans. African Grey Parrots You've probably heard a parrot at the zoo or pet store say a few things as you walk by, but Einstein has an even bigger vocabulary. This 31-year-old African Grey Parrot who lives at the Knoxville Zoo in Tennessee says, at least 200 words and sounds. Einstein is always learning something new. For example, curator Teresa Collins in Lead Bird Show. Trainer Adam Patterson said he recently started growing like a tiger all on his own, and the trainers are teaching him to do that on cue. They ask her to make that sound and every time she does, she gets a special treat, like a sunflower seed. Einstein is one entertaining bird to watch. Ravens. Julian may ask you, what's up? But he's the one with the interesting story. Julian is a raven who was found by a hiker in Vernon, Connecticut, when he was less than one year old. Sick and suffering from a broken, infected wing, he was sent to the rehabilitation center Horizon Wings to heal from his wounds, and has been there ever since. Even though he can't fly anymore, that doesn't seem to damper Julian's spirit. He loves talking and has picked up many words and phrases just by listening to the people that visit and care for him. Aside from talking, ravens can also solve problems on their own without any help from a trainer. Bengal Cats Mango is a stunning Bengal cat who has what his dad calls catversations with him. Mango really does seem to listen and respond, and it's absolutely adorable and funny to watch. Mango certainly loves to chat but his dad says his favorite thing to do is gives kisses and not just to dad but everyone he meets. He also loves to travel and has flown all over the country. He even has his own off-road stroller for sightseeing and comfort. European Starlings Bubis, a European starling, was just a tiny baby bird when her owner found her in a driveway. As a species, European starlings tend to be pretty chatty. Her owner says the bird started saying the words she would hear on a daily basis, like, Hi Bubis, you're so cute, and you're so beautiful. Bubis really loves her owner, staying close by her all the time. She's not like a cat or dog, craving belly rubs or scratches on the head, but Bubis does love kisses from her owner. Orcas Wiki is an orca, also known as a killer whale, but there is nothing scary about this sweet orca who lives at Marineland of Antipas in France. Scientists were studying Wiki to learn if she could mimic human speech, and were they surprised when she did? Wiki can say a few words, including hello, bye bye and Amy which is her handler's name. When Wiki talks, it doesn't quite sound like a human voice, but you can definitely tell what she is saying. Scientists say when animals can copy human speech, it is a sign they are very smart. Elephants Kashik, a 22-year-old elephant that lives in the Everland Zoo in South Korea, has been wowing visitors since 2006 with his ability to talk. But here's the crazy thing, he doesn't use his mouth to talk. In fact, if you see Kashik put his trunk in his mouth, it may be because he has something to say. You see, Kashik puts the tip of his trunk in his mouth to mimic the human voice. Not only can he match words, but he even matches the pith and timbre of conversation. That means he can speak in low or high tones. Unfortunately for us, he only speaks Korean. Siberian Huskies Dogs can't really use tongue or lips like we can to form words, but they try to speak by using the tones they hear from us often to say words. That sound words such as no or I want one or I love you. For example, Blaze, a Siberian Husky, sure sounds like he is saying no when his owner asks him to go to his kennel. His owner says he also will say, I want one when he wants a treat from his grandmother. Blaze loves to hike in the White Mountains of New Hampshire and go fishing with his owner in a kayak. Well, what can you say? Kindly share your thoughts in the comment portion. We have reached the end of today's video. In behalf of my partner Rina and the rest of the Splat Communications and Simplified Strategic Solutions team, and thank you. Till next time. Stay safe. Rosa out. Bye.